Hello friends, welcome back to my channel again, Code With Me. Before we start, request you kindly subscribe the channel if you are new to this channel again. So let's get back to the business friends. In this session of Java programming language, we will be discussing about another interesting topic of the Java is called as constructors. Sorry. Constructors. Uh, as for the definition of Java, I hope few of you guys have come across that constructor is nothing but a special method that is used to initialize objects. For the better understanding, I will write, uh, write down the points as I am saying right now. I will uh, I'll be noting down the points. If you want to note down the point, friends, please note down with me. It's a special method. It's used. Sorry, use to initialize the objects. In other words, friends, constructors are called when the objects are created. So, friends, by looking at the by looking at these two points, the construction are the special methods that is used to initialize the objects and the construction are the constructions are called when the object is created friends by looking at these two friends you can come to the conclusion that for example friends in the previous video you can you have you guys have come across the instance and the object variables how do you declare it and how do you initialize value to it and how do you print the instance variable so friends have you guys ever wondered that who will initialize the default values to the instance and object variables so friends Constructor here is plays a prominent role in, in in initializing the default values to the instance variables. So I'll write down the uh, important word just now. I have put time now for it as important point. Sorry, important point is that constructors is used to initialize default values to the instance variables i'm sorry constructors is used to initialize default values to the instance variables and I hope in the previous video you guys have come across how do you declare instance variable, how do you initialize value to and how do you print it via main method. Or even if you declare a but the thing is friends, you cannot declare a constructor inside a main method. That's the important thing that you guys have to know. And as a three points, uh, as I said before that uh, this construction used to initialize the default values to the variables. So, for better clarity, a better picture clarity, what I will do, friends, I'll write down a sample uh, sample code for you for that, so that you will have a clear picture that what is construction, how exactly this constructor works. Okay, friends. For what happens, I'll uh, take this. Uh, I'll take. Uh, take I'll take up all these things. So if you want to note down this, you can kindly pause the video and copy down it. So I'm doing it for time being and start with the part. So for I will add comment section constructors, difference and start with the main program. Public class main. So and follow with the syntax. Public static void main followed by string arguments so before we start the construction so i have to call an object not to create an object i have to create a class for example i'll create another class example friends i'll create another class class Example, create a dog class. Example. Okay, friends. In this dog class, I'll declare three variables. String. Uh, name. 
string name and uh, string breed okay friends and followed by cost cost so in order to in order to overcome uh, in order to have the picture clarity of projections constructor friends as i said in the definition in definition itself that constructor method has possessed same name as that of class so i'll create a method which has same name same name as that of class that is create a method in the name of dog only which want to be same as a class dog okay so friends as i have created three strings here what i will do i'll create three strings because since i am declaring uh string x and string followed by z uh, the reason i am declaring here string x and string y and inset because friends since the dog class should be accessed from the main class so if i want to insert any values i have to insert the values from the main class so that it will be accessed to the dog class for that from that way we can execute via system dot out dot printer okay friends what i will do i will initialize the values of the string x uh, name i mean string i mean in variables name breed and cost i will add the values in the main class i will be i will be accessing through the main class itself only okay friends and this is second okay friends so so now friends have successfully created dog and a constructor i have created a class dog inside a class dog I have created a constructor public dog followed by string x y z why have why i have declared string x y z because i have because i have already created uh, with the variable name as name breed and cost the reason here friends i get uh, in reason here friends because as i'm saying because in the in this constructor constructor already holds the parameters what i do friends i'll create as called as i'll create uh, object called as for draw class e equals New dog. Okay, friends. So now what happened? Now I have successfully created a dog class. So I have successfully created an object for the dog class. So how do I do it? So if I want to, so for, so friends, as I said before, that if I want to. If I want to initialize the values to this constructor, so I have to add the values in the main program. I mean the main class. From the main class, I have to access dog class. From main class itself, only I have to access the constructor from the dog class. I have to initialize value. Now, clearly see friends, I will initialize the values of this name, breed, and cost via constructor. How do I do it? When you create an object, friends, it is showing this bracket is showing zero characters. Now what I will do, friends, in this zero parameter parameters i will add values the first name is breed i will give you the name as breed bulldog because so i entered the bulldog here friends the bulldog will be directly handed over to the string x because the variable bulldog is stored in the variable x for time being not permanently for time being okay and so if i want to access this bulldog in dog class what i will do uh, what i will do friends i'll keep this bulldog x plus i mean uh, i'm sorry friends sorry, sorry. the reason why i have declared name equals x because the reason here in dog class the value of the variable name bulldog is carried in x in the variable x for a time being not permanently friends. in this sense friends the entered bulldog here will be directly added to the string x and the value of x bulldog will be added to the name so though so now the value of the variable name is successfully initialized that is bulldog what happens the bulldog here is directly handed over to the name so I have given the value of this variable name as bulldog so i have declared the bulldog in the main class and it is handed over handed over and this bulldog value handed over to the name variable 
via x here x act as a third party okay friends and another since i have declared three parameters here next i will add breed for example german shepherd and followed by the cost of it okay friends now i have successfully initialized all the values to the variables name read cost in this way what happens and also i'll hand over all the uh, all the uh, all the values to the effect variables breed i'm sorry breed equals y and cost equals z so friends now we can clearly observe the values bulldog german shepherd and thousand is successfully handed over to the variables name breed cost via string x string y and int z so okay friends now what i have to do I'll try to print the variable this is system dot out dot print ln b dot name okay friends system dot out dot print ln b dot breed okay friends and last thing system dot out dot print ln d dot cost okay friends now when i try to execute the program i'm sorry friend, oh i just forgot to give the semicolon here okay when i try to execute the program i'm sorry uh, i'm just sorry friends there's a small So friends, now we can clearly see here, I have successfully given the values Bulldog, German Shepherd and 1000 and handed it to the name, breed and cost. When I try to print here, it is showing as cannot find the symbol D dot breed. So friends, now one thing keep that in mind, in making use of constructors, you have to ensure that now currently friends, the value of the variables Bulldog, German Shepherd and thousand is in the dog class it is not accessible to the main class so in order to make it accessible friends what i have to what i have to do i have to return all the values to the main class so how shall i return all the values of this bulldog german shepherd and thousand to the main class friends what i will do i'll create three classes in the name of name breed and cost methods methods how do i create friends public String reason here is reason I'm entering string because friends first variable declared is string so get, I'm sorry friends get name okay friends what we'll do just type it as return name okay friends like the same way I create the that's here public string i'll just take this name and add it as breed okay friends return breed public int because the third variable is declared as int not cost not string so i'll just i'll just in the data type and here get cost return Cost. So, friends, so friends, now you can clearly observe here what I did. Successfully sent all the values of name, breed, and cost to the main class. Now I have to execute it. How shall I read, friends? 
Now listen to your friends. In the, in the construct, when you are executing construct, you have to ensure that you have, should not make use of object handle. Instead of object handle here, what I will do, I will get value from d dot get name method, not name method. Okay, friends, and followed by get free and followed by okay friends so when i try to execute the program here i'm sorry if it swings slightly here oh just entered the i'm sorry okay so friends now you can clearly observe here now the value of the variables that is declared in the doc class name i'm sorry the value of the variable declared in the doc class name breed and cost is accessed via get class and this is this is how you initialize value and transfer the value from doc class to the main class when you're executing construction you have to ensure that friends whether you have to make use of object handler or the get class and i have also explained to you friends that constructors is used to initialize the default variables now see friends now you have clearly observed how do you how do you initialize the value to the constructors and how do you transfer the value from the constructors to the main class and how do you execute it so this is how you execute the constructor friends and in the first in the first page of this video i have explained you that constructor is used to initialize the default value of these variables for timing friends what i will do i'll take on all this thing okay friends and I try to execute the program. Oh, just a second, friends. So, friends, I have also explained that construction is used to initialize the default values to the instance variables. Friends. If you want to prove that, that the construction is used to initialize the default values to instance variables, friends, now what I will do, I'll just make a slide in this program. What I will do, friends, I'll just take out all the uh, values that I've given here inside this class inside this dog parameter what i will do and i'll go to the construction public dog okay and remove all these things and at the same time i remove this cost x y and everything so friends when i execute the program you can clearly observe here it is showing as null null and zero that means if i don't add the if i don't initialize any values to this program by default, computer will read as computer will display you the default variables. So in this program, you can clearly observe here. I declared three variables: name, breed, and cost. Here, name is string. The default value of string is null. It is displayed for the first null. And the second variable declared is string breed. The default value of string is null. It is declared as null. And the default and uh, third third is cost, which is int. The default value of int is zero. It's just zero. So friends, this is how you and this is how you make use of constructors in Java. So guys, so friends, now you guys have come across how do you make use of constructors in Java. So the session ends here, friends. So if you have any doubts regarding the constructors in Java program, request you kindly pin down the doubts in the comment section. I'll definitely re uh, reply back. Re uh, I'll definitely reply to all your comments. And if you like this video, kindly like, share, and subscribe this video. So sorry, subscribe the channel and like the video. Thank you, Anson. Have a nice day. Keep coding.